we're back again, and this is uh, number two in the series that I've done with the same colours, swipes. Um, and as promised, I said I'd show them all. And here I am using the table paint from previous the previous one that I posted yesterday. Only using two cups, split cups this time. And I still had quite a lot of paint. Um, I wanted to simplify the sky and it didn't really work out actually because obviously when you use table paint it, it does have a habit of really lacing up and selling up so you can see that's exactly what happens um, and I find myself wanting to add more contrast to the sky that's why I'm adding um, the blue and the silver at the top same colours as before exactly the same colours and of course I can't resist but swipe again adding contrast trying to simplify the sky no, I didn't really want to have lots and lots of lacing and cells but at the end of the day it is what it is isn't it um, the base you can see I've added um, copper and my dark copper that there was copper mixed with blue because I wanted to neutralise it a little bit and I'm adding a couple of golds. So I'm really trying to add a lot of depth to the swipe part. There we go, swipe with titanium white straight away and you get cells coming up. Now, quick torch. I wish really I would learn by my mistakes and that I'd just leave it there. I'd leave it there and walk away. Of course I have to keep fiddling, there I go. Scraping up all the paint again to use with something else. Um, and you can see there I come back and I start to drag my stick through the cells. Now I would have left this about 20 minutes, half an hour before I started doing that. But then you can see there's a part of the paint I really wasn't happy with. I like the dark area at the bottom, but I really wanted that to carry right away across the bottom. So what do I do? Add more of the copper with bone black in there. And I wasn't, probably wasn't thinking at this stage, gold. So adding the blue to the copper neutralized it and kind of um, knocked it back and ended up having a bit of a roll, rose gold going on. Which is, I didn't really want that. And you can see, I ended up with a little bit of bare canvas there, so I had more white. Oh, here I go again. <laughs> Just throwing caution to the wind and picking up the paint from the table and do another swipe. <laughs> and why do I do it? Pick torch. Oh, I'm gonna do it again. There you go. But actually, it produces a lovely painting in the end. And here I go with my stick and just I'm just picking up the dark copper from the table actually on the stick and dragging it up through the painting to create some big blades of grass. I said in my last painting it's, it's no good being timid about this, you just have to go for it and you have to commit with intent to make a mark on your painting. Oh, and here I go, adding a little bit more contrast to the sky. And stay tuned for the dried results. So this is, this is number two. Sky is a lot simpler. You can still see the silver coming through. Graduating from dark down to light 
again love the uh, pearl such a beautiful color the pearl white and then you can see the copper and the gold and the dark copper at the bottom there it's held its shape really well this one actually um again love what's going on with the grasses here you see love that a um, bit disappointed with the bit that I swiped again twice. <laughs> so what am I going to do? Just literally just pull this out, this out a little bit more and this out. Very, very simple enhancements, not embellishments. I'm not changing anything. I am just darkening up a few bits to add a little bit more contrast. 